everyone, Aaron at Redbird Speed here. Today we're going to be talking about different bearing types. So there are two different types of bearings that you can use in this housing and this is a big Ford new style Trino housing end. So you have two options. On these set of axles, we got a one piece ball bearing with an O-ring on it. So this is going to be good for street and strip, uh, some drag racing, uh, normal street car use. Now let's say you're going to be doing something like autocross, four wheel drive trucks, derby cars, something we're going to be putting a tremendous side load on this. Temkin set 20 bearing, that's going to be a two piece tapered roller bearing. You can see the seal, this outer seal comes off of here. This is actually a two piece bearing, this will come apart, but you can see the rollers on the inside. So this is going to be lubricated by the gear oil. Uh, some people do run an inner seal and pack these bearings. Most people just leave the seal out, let the gear oil slosh up there to lubricate the bearing. So the way this stacks up, presses on the axle, you get your outer seal, seals it from the outside. You press this onto the axle, pressuring goes on like so. This bearing is already installed. This is that O-ring style bearing. O-ring on this specific setup goes toward the outside. Bearing presses on, pressuring goes on like so. Uh, the last couple of videos we've shot, we've talked about the different specs in the axles as far as the bearing journal, outside of flange, the bearing stop, all this has to work together. So when you're ordering axles, you need to make sure the bearing type fits your application. So if you're doing something like big heavy four wheel drive tires, side loads going, you know, hitting the trail, you're going to want something strong like a two piece tapered roller bearing. If you're cruising around town, going to car shows, doing some drag racing, one piece ball bearing. They, they both have their perks. I mean, I like the, the self-lubricated, fully enclosed one-piece bearing for street cars. I feel like they're less maintenance. Sometimes these outer seals can be kind of leaky. There are companies that will only exclusively run these, so these tapered bearings. So there's some companies that do all Trino tapered bearing setups. Uh, there's some companies that won't sell tapered bearings for, or won't sell ball bearings for street cars. They'll only sell a two-piece tapered roller bearing. Uh, there's other companies that prefer to use this almost exclusively unless there's some reason to use the tapered bearing. So it really just depends on your application, what you want to do with it. I'm not going to say there's a right or wrong answer. There's some people out there who say tapered bearings is the only way to go. Other people out there swear by the ball bearing. It just depends on what you want to do. So if you have any questions about this, give us a call. If you want to talk about your application, 260-301-2424, redbirdspeed.com. We're on all the social media platforms. Get a hold of us. We appreciate your support. Be sure to like and subscribe. We're going to keep talking about these axle specs. We're going to talk about the hubs and flanges next. So we appreciate you. Have a good one.